Talk with Easy Podcast, where we focus on building and connecting the network, and I got a special guest in the building today, Playboy Groovy. What's up with you? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. How you feeling? I'm feeling good myself, man. Where the name come from? Uh, Groovy. They always been calling me that, and I've been a big fan of Austin Powers. Okay. I was a huge fan of Austin Powers Since growing when, up. like, as a kid? Yeah, as a kid growing up, I used to watch all of them, man. So, it's just, it, it caught on because he was a cool guy that mm-hmm. was always himself, but he still got the ladies, For you sure. know? So, he ain't had to do too much. You know, and the lady still always came, but he wasn't somebody portraying to be somebody else. So I'm Already. really big on that. You feel me? Just being yourself. I got you. Yeah. So where Playboy from? Playboy? I mean, I like ladies, man. Geographically, like, like where you from? Geographically? Yeah. I'm from Buckingham. All right. How was mm-hmm. it coming up in the buck? It was, it was interesting, man, because I wasn't someone that was closed in to the country. Because some people are from out there. You feel me? They they out there and they they their mindset is stuck out there. Mm-hmm. But I enjoyed the country. But I took what I learned from the country <clears throat> and expanded. Mm-hmm. You feel me? When I came to the city, mm-hmm. so it's like I was able to play both parts. Like I I can adapt to both situations. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I wasn't someone that was just stuck in the mindset of just being in the country in this for box. Sure. I wanted to see the world. You know? Yeah. yeah do sure. different I, things. I, I can relate mm-hmm. to that, man. So like. Was you that? Was you in the sports, like, or was you always like predominantly on the music? Like, how was that growing up for you? Like, to be honest, I was that guy that when my friends used to rap, mm-hmm. I was the guy in the back, like that was quiet, but yeah. hyping them up. Yeah, but I always sure. wanted to say something. You feel me? Like, I always felt like I had something to say. Mm-hmm. But I was big on the sports, like basketball was everything, twenty four seven. So, so what you what you think of the music scene now, like out there? Have you been in tune with it at all? In the country. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm not for real. I don't really listen to a lot of people. I just listen to myself, to be honest. Okay, yeah. I might catch something here and there, but mm-hmm. I just be so locked in. I don't really get a chance to listen to other people because mm-hmm. that's how I feel like I'm able to make so much music because mm-hmm. when I burn out what I just made, it's like, all right, now you got to make some more. Mm-hmm. And you feel me? After a week, you don't want to listen to this no more. Yeah. It's new to the world, but it's mm-hmm. old to you. You feel me? Yeah, for so sure. that's how you feel me. So, so would you say you don't have no inspirations? Like you don't wake up to listen to other artists? Inspirational wise, mm. I say Starlito. I'm, I'm a big fan of Starlito. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. you know I hear that a lot from like people in the area. Like yeah, in the buff, you know what I'm saying. I got some shit called Starlito Sundays, man. It's just mm. a Sunday about good half of the day. I'm playing nothing but Starlito, man. It's just mm. to get your mind right. It's like what he preaching, what for he sure. talking about. It's just mm. it's so relevant. Yeah, for sure. Like, so what point did you jump into music yourself? To be honest. I used to always freestyle growing up. Mm-hmm. After after I was like I said that kid that mm-hmm. that didn't. Finally, I did, mm-hmm. and it was sounding night. I ain't gonna lie, it was sounding night. And this was around like seventeen, eighteen. Mm-hmm. But then, like twenty years old, after my cousin died, like twenty, I was twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Mm-hmm. My cousin died. He was like, "Bro, you gotta. It's either you gonna do this basketball, you gonna do the rapping, but you gotta get something. All oh, you feel me? You mm-hmm. can't try to do both and." And giving it fifty fifty both ways, like you got to get something one hundred percent. So I, I just that. chose to rap. You feel me? For sure. So how would you categorize your music? Would you, I mean, would you say it's rap, or would you consider it something else? I consider myself an artist. Artist. Yeah, okay. I don't, I'm not. I'm not a rapper. For sure. I'm an artist because I treat this like art. Mm-hmm. Like this but, really coming from the heart. So you you feel like you could handle them different genres though? Like you feel like you could do some rap R and B. Yeah, it's I feel like, like I can no, do it. I can do country. For real. I feel like it. You feel like that? Yeah. All right. Not to be no. Never doubt not yourself. To, yeah, you know I was about saying? to say not yeah. to be big headed or nothing yeah, like nah, that. Nah, it's nah, just. Nah. You good, yeah. Never doubt yourself. I feel like music is so universal. If you can make music one way, you can make it always. Yeah, for sure. Because it can all fit the same thing. It's just mm-hmm. how you choose to attack the beat. Yeah. So, you feel me? It's all on you, I think. For sure. Yeah. So, what's like a, a recording session like for you? Like, how do you prepare yourself for that? Do you write, first off? When I first got in, I used to write. Right. I was always writing. I was the one that had everything prepared, going to the studio, knowing what song first, knowing how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to say every line. So I used to, and when I used to go to Note Studio, I, I used to, Louis Notes, people don't know, yeah, I'd do sure. about nine songs in three hours. Yeah. Yeah, but that was just because I had everything prepared, you yeah. know? Uh-huh. But so, Salute Louis Notes, man. I want, I want to salute him. That's yeah, salute no, Louis, man. Yeah. Louis. Louis solid, man. Yeah, for sure. yeah he's solid. He I definitely like a great. What you, what you saying? You just knocked all that out. I could picture him working because I know his pace is fast. You feel me? You know, so like, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah so like, 
do you always record with notes or do you have like a home setup? Do you ever like thought about getting into that? I do actually have a home setup. Mm -hmm. I have to get another laptop though. Okay. It just crashed on me. But do you feel like that's more beneficial? Like it is cause, your space? because as soon as I think of something, like I'm able to go to the mic and, and lay it down, you know? And I actually figured out how to record myself. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how to mix myself, but yeah, yeah. I figured so, out how to record myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you blew the day, right? Like, what would be the first thing you do for yourself or like somebody else? Musically, if you was to blow, you know? Or however, like business, you know, however. Okay, so you saying? If you, if, like, you at where you at today, mm -hmm. tomorrow you get an offer, a business offer, could be worth millions. Yeah. You know, what would be the first thing you think you'll do? First thing I do, I thank God. For sure. No cap, man. Mm -hmm. I thank God. I swear to God. It's hard, man. Yeah. Life crazy. Yeah, nah, so it's, just it's a, it's a when you got them time. blessings like that, you really got to live in the moment on those. You feel me? You got to thank that, you know? But after that, mm -hmm. I'll be, I be into buying land. Oh, yeah. I want to. I, feel like I want to make a community center for the country, yeah. for the kids, man, because I feel like they don't have nobody to look up to them, and they ain't got no route. Like, mm -hmm. we, us, when we was growing up, we used to be outside playing as kids. Definitely. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we used to have fun playing basketball, riding, Definitely. you feel me, yeah. riding yeah. the four-wheelers and everything. Yeah. Different back then, like, and that was going to be my next question, like, what would be something you would do for the buck? Yeah, that, I think that's it right there, man. I want to build a community center. Yeah. And it, it's for the buck, but it's it's for the country and all. Because it's like so many surrounding counties outside of Buckingham. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of talent, man. It is. And but I it's like, like these kids ain't got nobody to look up to, yeah, bro. No, re like limited resources. like, And we don't even really have like businesses, man. You feel me? It's just like skimp out there. For <sighs> so if you make it, you... <sighs> mm. Man. So like... Label wise, do you have your own label or you? Yeah, I it? consider myself having consider my own label. Yeah, Raw Files Music Group. Raw Files. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that consist of other artists or just yourself? Just me. Just you. Yeah, just me what's, is right what's, now. What's your goal for it? Like going forward. My goal, to be honest, I want to have other artists, but mm -hmm. I want this to be like a a business thing mm -hmm. that where it. It, it it goes off, it ventures off to other businesses that expands off of this mm -hmm. record label, like clothing brands, you feel me, mm -hmm. Club, grocery stores, mm -hmm. you know, other stuff like that. But sure. I, I, wanted, I want the label to be like-minded people like me mm -hmm. building off of this one thing that, that we have in common. For sure. You feel me? Yeah. And that's music. Yeah, never limited. You know yeah. Like, and you can go so many ways off music. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, yeah, movies, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, incorporate the music on the movies. Exactly. It's, it's so many things you could do with the music. Mm -hmm. And it helps, you know, when you go into other business adventures and everything. For sure. Already having that stamp behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Already. People knowing you, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, on the way in here to the office, I was listening to the Playboy Groovy Project. I you appreciate know. you. Um, man. What was the process like? Because that was when, what year was that? 220? That was, was 2022. That, that was last year. 2022. Yeah, so like, was you at a different space then than where you at now musically? Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. I had really felt like I had really started using my emotions. Mm. Yeah, I really tapped into the emotional side. Mm. And I feel like, not to cut you off, but I feel like music is emotion, like, whether you whether you happy, sad, excited, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like that's what music is really is emotion. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know. yes, sir. Um, I agree. Was that recorded with notes too? Like, yes, sir. That was okay. recorded with notes. Okay. How, long, how long did it take you? To um, what? to be honest, it took me about a month. Mm -hmm. About a month. Then I got notes to go back in, and add some sauce on it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, different little things like that, but. Yeah. It was just that that time, like I was feeling like I had really sat down and was like, "Man, you gotta look and look at yourself deep down." You feel Definitely, me? Yeah. You gotta get in touch with your emotional intelligence, because mm -hmm. I feel like that's what a, a lot of men lack. You know, mm -hmm. and me and myself, yeah, I like that. Sure. No, I you, you know, yeah. okay. not wanting to cry, mm -hmm. 
not wanting to say how you feel. You feel me? Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I feel like on this project, and this was my first Playboy Groovy project, because okay. usually, yeah, I noticed that. Wasn't yeah, because yeah, yeah. I got I got an alter ego or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's for my R and B side, yeah. you know, V Raw for the rapper side. That. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So you say it's no no artists on your label, but is there any artists that you plan on working with or want to work with? I work with a lot of artists actually. I work with uh D Mills, Demon Miller. Okay. Um. Flat out. Okay, flat. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely I work flat. with flat out. Flat. It's my boy. I worked with Teddy before. Absolute Teddy. I work yeah, with I work with too. Teddy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Talent, a lot of talent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and uh, project wise, like King LA. Okay. It's one of my favorite guys to work him. with. I heard of him. That name ring a bell. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Stevie, he's from he's from yeah, Cumberland. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. solid, he man. Too, right? Yeah, he's a producer. Yeah, he's yeah. the one that's producing. The tape okay. that we we yeah, gonna yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, man. Yeah. Been there then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you tapped in with the industry, man. Uh, so Playboy Groovy. <clears throat> when I think of Playboy, you know, I think of Playboy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Brand Playboy. So like what 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 that female gotta have? Like what kind of characteristics like that female gotta <clears throat> have to get some of Playboy Groovy's time, like To be honest. On any man. level. It don't gotta be like locked in, locked in. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. Just to get your attention. To get my attention, she gotta be the way she carry herself. It gotta, mm-hmm. you feel me? It gotta be confident, mm-hmm. but it's not too much. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. I like her confident, but not, of course, everybody want a, a gorgeous woman, a beautiful yeah, woman. You sure. know, yeah. yeah, that's that's what you like. That's what you are gonna want. You know, mm-hmm. but other than that, I like for her to just own her confidence, man. I like a woman that know what she want and Definitely. go get it like. You feel me? <laughs> like the and type of like female that'll pull up on you, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I'm like, I like them ones because they know what they want. Yeah. You know, they ain't that's got time for everything. You want to people know what they want. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm looking for in a female. Of course, everybody like the, the pretty, you know, mm-hmm. bodies, all of that. Sure. You know, they, we want that, but when it's, it's something different about a female a lady or a woman when she know what she want. Mm-hmm. Okay. She already got her mindset. Sure. No, I, I can I can relate with you on that. Yeah. Um. Now I see you rock a lot of the organic culture. Oh yeah, yes yeah, sir, yes yeah, sir. Uh, what's your connection with that? Can you break that down? Shout out TA man on the sure. organic culture. It's, it's a it's a family for real. Yeah. It's a family. I mean, it's a brand we building. Mm-hmm. It's already you know got some stepping stones. You know, mm-hmm. it's already going up. We mm-hmm. we got customers in California mm-hmm. that be rocking our gear everywhere, all, all worldwide, but. OCA is like it's a way of life. Mm-hmm. Like it's organic, man. You gotta be true to yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And then it also boils <clears throat> down to our lifestyle, mm-hmm. as as in the food we eat, yeah. what we choose to put into our bodies. Mm-hmm. We try to be more organic as possible. I mean, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. but. On that side, the food side, like it's definitely hard. Like, I feel like most things you try outside of your normal gonna give you a challenge. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. But that really what makes you though. It's crazy, yeah, right? Sure. You gotta yeah, learn. you gotta learn. And most of the time, it's painful. You know, it can be painful, but you know, you you gonna grow at the end of the day. You know. Um. So what's next for Playboy Groovy, man? Well, I got another tape coming with Stevie. Mm-hmm. L.A. Raw Volume Two coming very soon. Got light skin Ric Flair coming very, I very, mean, very I saw, soon. I saw that somewhere on IG. Yeah, it's yeah. coming very soon. Okay. Um, Playboy Groovy got another tape dropping. Mm-hmm. I wrote this letter for you. Okay. Actually, just got the cover art finished. Everything done. I'm about to post okay. that. Get okay. that ready to drop. I'm gonna have a date soon mm-hmm. on that too on IG. Playboy Groovy. Okay. Um, um, for anybody that's that's jumping off that turf, man, trying to become an artist trying to get involved with a business, you know, what, what, what will be some things you'll, you'll drop some, you know, gems you'll drop on them to, to uh, help them get started on a, on a smooth note. I say to get started first, know what you like mm-hmm. in music mm-hmm. and try to focus on making music off that mm-hmm. because you tend to listen to what you like. Mm-hmm. So if you are able to make music that you like, other people that's liking that music is going to like yours. Facts, yeah. You understand? So that's a, I, that's something I learned too. Like, cause at first, I just was making making music, making music, making music, making music. But I'm like, you know how you find an old song that you always like, yeah, or sure. 
or a reggae song you like or and you like bro i can do that mm-hmm. and then you go in the studio and you do it it's surprise you surprise yourself yeah, bro because yeah, you right, like yeah. whole time in the back of your head you thinking i can't do it yeah. but it's like i want to try to do that mm-hmm. so i feel like when you starting off just know what type of music you want to make mm-hmm. and then learn how to make songs because it's different from just rapping, rapping, rapping and making a song that people want to hear, you know? Other than that, you got to know that yourself is a business. If you're a rapper. Definitely. You a brand now. Create that brand. You feel me? Yeah. You, how you, you feel me? How you seen mm-hmm. is how your brand is going to be seen. <laughs> Definitely. Now I follow you, man. Um, that's, that's some good advice, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm still learning myself though. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. We all are, man. I feel like every day I wake up and I learn something different. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I love it too. Especially when you actually want to learn. Yeah. You know, you're going to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, before we get off, man, I want to thank you for coming through, uh, dropping some jams. Yeah. Let me know what's going on with your career. Um, I know we're going to link again in the future. Of course, so I man. Know next time I want to hear how that album doing. Yeah. You know, how that single doing. Yeah. You know, you know stuff I love like it. That. Love and, um, it. But before we go, I want you to let the people know where they can find you on social media. On social media, Instagram, Playboy Groovy. You feel me? That's what I'm. That's why I promote most of my music on because it has all my links that breaks down to everything. You can go get that. But Playboy Groovy on Instagram, just tap in on that, and you will see everything. Apple, Spotify. I got V Raw. If you want to get wild, you know, if you want to hear some real. But if if the late you know I had to make something for the ladies too. That's when the Playboy came in, so that's why Playboy Groovy. If you want to listen to some R and B, you know, you can go tap in on that too. Also, I got a lot of music out, but I'm about to make a lot more because I had took off a high eighties. You know, I had to calm down. Yeah, I was just dropping a lot and not learning anything behind dropping a lot, not making no money behind it. And it's like, nah, bro, it's a better way to doing this, especially if you got the you got the. The tools you got the Definitely, <laughs> you yeah. got the product. Now it's just a, it's a way you got to put it out. Yeah, yeah. Now the V Raw and and Playboy Groovy. That's two different. You feel like that's two different individuals. That's two different individuals. For but sure. it's also me at the same time. Sure at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm that guy that like, you know, I like Chief Keith. I like G Herbo. Yeah. But sure. I also like K Kemp. Yeah. I also like yeah, Sorry the Kid. Yeah. You know. Yeah. People like uh, Party Next Door, you know. Yeah. I also like yeah. that. And then I, also, I like old music, uh-huh. you know. I like yeah, so <laughs> so it's yeah. just, that's just who I am, bro. I yeah. Feel. Well, like I said, man, I appreciate you coming through. You're doing great things. Appreciate you, know, you bro. I can see that. You know, I can feel it when I listen to the music. Yes, sir. Keep yes, doing sir. Your thing, man. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having me. We're going to get into this live performance. Okay, okay. Let's go. Already. Thank you. <laughs>